Hey, thanks for jumping into step two of our getting started guide. In this tutorial, we're going to get you acquainted with our pipeline contact view. So we have two ways to look at contacts in Hilo. The first is the contact list view, which you saw in the previous tutorial. And the second is this one you see here. It's our pipeline view. The pipeline is your sales funnel. It's a visual view of where all your contacts are in the sales process. So when contacts are entered into the system, unless you specify a specific pipeline position for a contact, they will default to a position of not contacted in the pipeline. Now, let me explain that a bit. Anyone in the not contacted column means that these are people you have never spoken to about your business. Everyone in the four columns to the right are people you have spoken to, but they're in various other stages of the sales process. And the last two columns are people who either told you yes, yay, or said not right now. Now you can easily move contacts to other positions on the pipeline by clicking and dragging them to the appropriate column. You can move them back or forward as appropriate. You can also search for contacts in the pipeline view. This is really helpful when you have lots of contacts in the system. Type all or part of their name in this field and then click search and that'll bring up the people. And you can also easily update a contact's information by just clicking their name. That'll bring up a modal window where you can make your edits right here from the pipeline page and click update contact when you're done or click view contact to see their contact card and full history. And we'll get into that later on in another tutorial. If you click search with nothing typed in the search field, that'll bring you back to see your full list of contacts in the pipeline. And you can also filter your contacts by various fields by dropping down this menu under the gray bar. Now, Lastly, just moving on to one last thing, we have these F's and R's next to the contact names, and you probably noticed them. What these do is allow you to easily add contacts to your new reach outs and follow up lists. The R's are only shown next to the contacts in the not contacted column because R stands for new reach out in Hilo. Clicking an R will add that contact to your new reach out reminders list on the dashboard. The F's are for follow-up. Clicking the F next to a contact's name will add them to your list of follow-ups on the dashboard. And we'll dig into the dashboard in a later tutorial. Now, before I go, I just want to point out again that any comments or questions you have about Hilo can be submitted through our feedback link, which you can find in the My Account menu right up here in the right corner of the header bar. Well, that does it for step two of the tutorial in the pipeline. I hope you found it helpful, and please make sure to check out the rest of the videos in our Getting Started series.